Chicano leaders in a small Texas town charge angrily that in recent years when blacks were abused by the local whites, Washington intervened rapidly. But when a Mexican-American was killed by a Texas sheriff, they say, the Justice Department did nothing for 11 months while the sheriff, as they see it, got a light sentence. Justice finally did decide to look into it. Our special for this evening from Castroville, Texas, and George Lewis. A year ago, nobody had heard of Richard Morales. He was a poor 26-year-old construction worker who was out of a job much of the time. One of many poor Mexican-Americans living in Castroville, Texas, a small town of 2,000 located southwest of San Antonio. Last year, the Castroville police chief, Frank Hayes, ordered the arrest of Morales. The charge that Morales had sold a calf to another man and had failed to deliver it. Hardly a major crime. The man who was then Hayes' deputy, Don McCall, made the arrest. A friend, part-time jail guard Steve Worthy, rode along in the police car. They went to the shack where Morales lived and handcuffed him. Then, as Steve Worthy tells it, Chief Hayes showed up unexpectedly and began to threaten Morales. The first thing that uh, Chief Hayes did was kind of shove Richard, push him gently, not very, you know, rough with him, though. But uh, he said, Richard, you're a thief and I'm going to kill you. Instead of taking Morales to jail, Chief Hayes had the men drive out this road five miles west of town. In a deserted spot, Chief Hayes stopped, ordered Morales out of the car, and ordered the handcuffs removed. As Don was attempting to get the cuffs off, uh, Chief Hayes jabbed Morales with the uh, shotgun and told Don, uh, he said, Mac, I've killed me one Mexican, I'm going to kill me another. Neither Steve Worthy nor Deputy Don McCall had witnessed the killing. At gunpoint, they had been told to leave. They were in their police car when they heard a shot. I got out of the police car and I said, now, Frank, where's Richard? He's not in the car. Where is he? I was very concerned uh, for Richard. And uh, I said, now, what happened? And Frank says, well, I'll tell you. He says, Don, he says, I killed him. The red fence post marks the spot where Morales was killed. But his body was never found here. It was found 400 miles away, buried near the East Texas town of Carthage. The body had been moved and buried by Chief Hayes' wife, her sister, and her daughter. At the murder trial which followed, Hayes testified the shooting was a mistake, an accident. The verdict came three days later. Hayes was found guilty of a lesser offense, aggravated assault, and sentenced to a prison term of two to ten years. Mrs. Hayes was found guilty of tampering with evidence, a misdemeanor. She was placed on probation and fined $49.50 in court costs. No one else involved in the case was tried. The verdict enraged a number of Mexican-American groups and led to a series of demonstrations. The demonstrators called the trial a whitewash. They charged this was typical of Texas justice, that over the years, lawmen have gotten away with murder in the gunning down of numerous Mexican-American youths. And they claim Mexican-Americans are being denied equal justice under the law. If you're in the custody of a policeman and you kill him, for some reason or other, you face two extremes, life or death. But if it's the other way around, you know, more, more often than not, he faces a involuntary manslaughter or whatever. Now, if that's not double standard, I don't know what double standard is. Several Mexican-American leaders are urging the Justice Department to intervene in the Morales case. They argue that Chief Hayes should be indicted by a federal grand jury for violating Richard Morales' civil rights. At first, the Justice Department said the case was closed. But under heavy pressure from Mexican-American groups, and after a meeting with their representatives, the department's Civil Rights Division has agreed to investigate the Morales case. Richard Morales is buried in a remote little graveyard overgrown by weeds. A forgotten place. 
But a lot of Mexican Americans have resolved that Richard Morales will not be forgotten. Because to them, his death represents a kind of injustice that they have fought for years to overcome. George Lewis, NBC News, Medina County, Texas.